Uh, so we'll get into specific entries now. The first few are going to be gi based. Okay, if you're doing just no gi, basically skip the collar sleeve and the um, and the spider based ones and go straight to the overhook entries. Okay, so collar sleeve, very common. Uh, do you want to just grip my collar here? Very common. I get a collar and sleeve, and we've got a whole course on this position, which we'll kind of talk about how we retain guard here and so on. But if you want to set up the omoplata, I'll go into a little bit of detail here about how I can really separate his elbow from his knee. Okay. So to do that, I want to have like opposing forces. I'm going to want to get my right foot ideally kicking on his hip here. Sometimes the bicep, just recognize like, the bicep doesn't necessarily pull the elbow away as much. So I right, put your elbow to knee. Like I can kick, yeah, let's turn, sorry. I can kick with my right leg here and see that it doesn't really like move his elbow away from the knee. Okay. Whereas if I kick the hip, that can actually push his hips back and the knee moves backwards. Okay. So we tend to get better positioning if our foot's on the, on the hip here. Right. The downside of doing that, though, is it's then harder to swing that leg over and, and get it to attack. For example, he might step over the leg, and now I can't do the omoplata as well. Okay. The upside of having the foot on the bicep, when we do get the omoplata position, it's easier to, to use that foot to attack. So in addition to that, I want to have a strong pull. And it's not the biggest mistake people make. They try to do like this, like a bicep curl, like I'm trying to pull his arm here. This is such a weak movement to try to move his arm, okay? What I want to do is mostly actually just use my, my body curling open this way. My hips moving to my left and my shoulders moving to my right, okay? So you'll see that if he keeps his elbow tight, if I do this, I can open and pull the elbow away from the knee. Now to do that, again, it's not, I'm not doing this, my elbow's not tight by my body for this one. I actually want to open my elbow out and kind of like curl like this. So having that elbow kind of locked open, locks that structure in place. It pulls his hand a little laterally as well, which is nice. Uh, sorry, his elbow a little laterally. Okay, so see now, that's hard to stop. And in combination with stepping on the hip. So I've got this, if I've got the collar sleeve, I'll put my left knee pushing his shin so he can't drive forward with his shin to follow. I flare my elbow and I twist to the side with my hips moving out. Try and fight that, Jacob. Moving on to my right side. And here, I've opened that, that gap, okay. The next problem you're gonna run into, as we turn, is, see who's gripped my collar? So, it, sometimes you do this well, and the, like sometimes these grips loose enough that you, you stretch, and I uh, keep the collar, and you can just kinda like push and rotate the shoulder, okay. That's awesome if that happens. But a lot of the time, he's uh, just grip a bit higher and a bit tighter. So there's no way here, for example, I'm going to, uh, yeah, keep, yep, good. Uh, then I'm going to rotate his shoulder. So even if I separate from the knee, see that? I can't rotate. I need to rotate his hand and put it down in, in my back pocket here. But the lapel's stopping that. Okay. So the next thing you're going to want to think about here, if you separate the elbow from the knee, you now have room to put your knee inside and flare it out to his elbow. This is a strong grip break. So hold that, Jacob. I flare my, I push with my leg and I extend my back. Even if they're really strong, it should be very difficult to fight that grip break. Okay. Once the grip's broken, I can put it down into my, to my hip, I kick my leg through, and I have my omoplata entry. So again, we're in collar sleeve. Right. You might have had to do a whole bunch of retention to get here. Uh, keep your elbow to your knee. Okay. Oh, sorry, if his elbow's away from the knee, just don't worry about all that, just let's start attacking. So it's up to Jacob to block that, good, okay. I'm gonna step on the hip, preferably, move my hips out this way as I open my elbow, a curl that separates the space. If his elbow's tight like it is now, I'll put my knee in the, on the inside, break that grip, push the hand down now, and kick through and chop down, okay. Lastly, and this is gonna be a theme for uh, a few of the different omoplatas we show, there's gonna be two ways that you hook as you uh, get their arm, two possible ways, okay? There's what probably happens most, and then there's what's ideal. If Jacob has, if I've broken his posture already a little bit, okay, ideal, I actually use my knee 
to close in like this. See how that really kills his posture, right? By pinching my knee. We'll talk about this later. But now when he tries to posture up, that knee's blocked it. Okay, so in an ideal world, this, this is kind of like when you've pulled their head across your body. You can just go like this. Okay, this is better than the alternative, which is to do this, okay? Which is flaring my knee out to capture. Because he can posture against this. It's not, this itself doesn't break posture. Whereas this, you'll see, does, okay? But, if we go up, yeah. When he is, when I can't pull his head across, and I've, let's say I've broken that grip, and I kick here, if I try and just use my knee, I won't actually capture anything. Okay, he'll probably just, like free his arm and posture out, posture out of that before I actually get the position, right? So I need to hook my leg, like for that to work, my knee needs to be able to kind of come over the top. It needs to be so far down. Most of the time, what's going to be more feasible is to flare your knee out and just back heel, which gives me some pull. Like the back heel helps against his posture to some degree, okay? And then from there, I can you know, either work my other leg over the top to a triangle or then start to turn on my side and break him down. So in summary from collar sleeve, right, I put one leg, not as an actual delta hook necessarily, just pushing with my knee. Other foot can be on the bicep, it can, the same thing can work here, but it's gonna be stronger stepping on the hip. I open my elbow, push, extend, move my hips out to open that knee out, get my knee on the inside, break the grip, and then I wanna turn the other way. So I move my hips, uh, actually one other thing, sorry. If my hips stay out, so, so before I moved my hips out to, um, I moved my hips out this way to open his elbow, okay. But it's actually hard to see that, it's like hard to get a good hook. I'm gonna have to move my hips the other way, so out this side, so I can thread my leg deeper. This will be another common theme as we enter, okay. So as you actually kick through, try to do this, okay. Hips out, getting more towards my left side and I come over the top. Once I've got that, I can then start to bring Jacob down.